Episode 2 Hydrophonic Fundamentals Continuing with my hydrophonic journey In this episode, we will look at the fundamentals of hydrophonic What is hydrophonics? How it works? Component of hydrophonics Types of hydrophonic system Advantages of hydrophonic and why is hydrophonic suitable for urban homes? What is hydrophonics? Hydrophonics is a Latin word meaning working water. Although it sounds like some recent space tech innovation, it is actually as old as the famed hanging garden of Babylon. In the farming context, hydrophonics is a method of growing plants without soy. Before we go on to understand how hydrophonic work, let's take a look at how plants grow. What does a plant need to grow well? Put it in the simplest term, a plant needs nutrients or plant food, hydration or water, and oxygen to grow. Now we shall get into some details. Plants capture sunlight with chlorophyll to produce food by a process called photosynthesis. Oxygen is then released into the atmosphere. Plants do not need soil to photosynthesize. Soil is a medium to supply plants with water and nutrients, of course, to hold themselves upright too. In hydroponics, Water is used in place of soil to carry dissolved nutrients and supply them to the plant. And in the presence of sunlight, photosynthesis takes place which allows the plant to grow. And this is how hydrophonic works. What are the components of hydrophonic system? Let's take a look at each one. Growing medium a hydroponic growing medium is that which replaces soil in the traditional planting. There are many suitable replacement materials. The common medium used include rock wool and expanded clay. A good growing medium is one that can hold water content, allows water circulation, pH neutral and does not compact over time. Net pot Net pots are mesh a planter that holds the plants. Net pots allows roots to grow out of the sides and bottom of the pot, giving greater exposure to oxygen and nutrients. It serves to hold the plant as well. Nutrient solution. Nutrient solution contains all the necessary nutrients or plant food required by plant for growth. The solution is simply water and the nutrients. The amount of nutrients required varies with the type, quantity, and age of plants. Nutrient Reservoir This is the container where the nutrient solution is being held. It can be an old fish tank, a pail, a plastic container, or any equipment that can hold the quantity of water. Avoid metallic materials as they are likely to introduce other components that can be harmful for the plant. Water pump. A water pump serves to pump the water from the reservoir onto the system. It oxygenates the water and prevents algae growth in the reservoir, similar to that of an aquarium. The circulation ensures that the water is fresh and clean. Airstone. Airstone is sometimes introduced to add oxygen into the nutrient solution. Oxygen is required to help facilitate germination and overall healthy growth of the plant. More oxygen production means faster growth as well as keep the nutrient solution fresh for use. Growth light. Growth lights are introduced in cases where plants are indoor or where the natural light is insufficient. Indoor plants cultivation requires lighting that closely resembles that of the sun. 
Growth lights are important for the process of photosynthesis and chlorophyll production. Let's do a quick recap on the components of hydrophonic. Growing medium, net port, nutrient solution, nutrient container, water palm, air stone, grow light. Types of hydrophonic system. Deep water culture systems. Deep water culture hydrophonics are simply plants suspended in aerated water. Deep water culture systems are one of the easiest and most popular methods of hydrophonics. The system has net pods holding plants over a reservoir of oxygen-rich nutrient solution. The plant's roots are submerged in the solution, providing it with perpetual access to nutrition, water and oxygen. Neutron Firm Technique System Neutron Firm Technique System suspend plants above a stream of continuously flowing nutrient solution that washes over the plant's root. The nutrient solution flows through the system before draining into the reservoir. The water in the reservoir is then aerated before being pumped out and back onto the system again. The neutron plum technique is a recirculating hydrophonic system. The roots of the plant in a NFT system are not immersed in the water. The stream or the phlegm only flows over the ends of their roots, which draws the moisture up for the plant. The exposed root system has plenty access to oxygen. App and flow system. App and flow hydrophonics work by the flood and drain concept. Nutrient solution is first pumped into and flood the grow bed from a reservoir. The pump will then stop and allows the nutrient solution to be drained off the grow bed. The plant are supplied with nutrients when the grow bed is flooded and oxygenated when it is drained. This alternating flooding and draining allows the plants to get the required nutrients and oxygens for healthy growth. Drip Systems in a hydroponic drip system, a network of tubes is directed to each individual plant to supply the nutrient solution. The solution is dripped slowly into the growing media of each plant. This system requires some computational control to determine the flow rate of the solution according to the type and age of the plant. This is a great hydroponic system in terms of water usage as there are little wastage and excesses. Aerophonics Aerophonic systems suspend plants in the air and expose the roots to the nutrient-filled mist. Nutrient solution from the reservoir is pumped to a nozzle that forms mist. Some aerophonics continuously mist the plant's roots, while others spray the roots with mist in intervals. Aerophonic system is most water efficient, using 95% less water to grow a crop than in an irrigated field. So why consider hydroponics? It is efficient. It supplies the required nutrients at the right amount and the right timing to the plant. It has little water wastage. By flooding, misting or immersion, Nutrient-filled water can be a more effective method of plant growth than traditional irrigation. It is modular and allows quick expansion and reduction according to needs. It can grow vertical, becoming space efficient. Now, why is hydroponic system suitable for urban home? No soil needed something that the built-up houses lack and all its related maintenance and pests are also gone. It is a clean system with little maintenance. Once the system is set up, one only needs to monitor the level of nutrient solutions and watch the plant grows. Small plot don't require much space. It is modular and allows simple expansion. If need to, can always go vertical. 
It is a very doable DIY. This is a quick introduction to hydrophonics fundamentals on my hydrophonic journey. If you find this video helpful, share it with your friends. Then like and subscribe us for episode 3.